Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Fearless Floyd Show. As always, I am your host, Fearless Floyd, and it is Friday, April 29th, most 28th, April 28th, 2023, Friday, 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 and we are recording, as you can tell by the title of the video, I'm going to go through what the classes of uh, that I present that are taught by Anne LaFleur, what they look like. I'm actually going to show you videos of classes that we've had, as well as show you what's in the Telegram group, Telegram groups that I have created for these different entities. So without further ado, let's see, let me get my screen share all proper. We can hit the VCR class first since I have it lined up. So this is the VCR experience, which you see right here. That's the little icon logo for it. What we're going to do is play a snippet of the video right here from the class. And this was held April 17th. And of course, this is Ann, some of the enrollees. And let's play a little bit of that bean footage. Is us, ourselves, all right? Waking up to the fact that we, we, that we gave away everything to these governments. And they took it little by little by little. And they did it in such a way that it was really ridiculous. I mean, seriously, they would come up with some new fantastic program that you were taking care of yourself. And everything was running fine. And the government said, well, we can handle it for you. And everybody got lazy and didn't care. And they started putting us in this debt situation where we couldn't stay at home any longer and take care of our kids, take care of our family. Um, I was raised with mom at home, okay? I was raised with my grandmother around me. All right, and Anne gives you a little antidotal storytelling uh, along the way to kind of keep it lively and uh, not so mundane with the minutia of what's going on with the VCR process. But anyway, <clears throat> that's what that looks like. So let me go over here. Actually, something else popped up. All right. Now, when you enroll in the VCR class, you also are enrolled into the private telegram group, Fearless Floyd's VCR experience. Like I said, there's the logo. And you'll be in this group. As you see, there's 98 members. They're all working to achieve the same methodology. Everybody else is. And this is a three strikes you're out process. Uh, sometimes it works in the first three process, first three steps. Sometimes it doesn't, and then you have to follow through with um, filing for investigations. But eventually it will work, according to Anne and her enrollees. I don't pay attention to any one of these groups, per se, except just to do master administrative work. Other than that, the administrators and moderators in those groups take care of everything else. I just set them up, let them run themselves. They're created for the students, by the students, for the students. The students. So um, I'll get in there every now and then and throw something around. For the most part, you know, I'm sitting on the sidelines. All right. So that was that one. And let me see what all I have here. Oh, perfect. There's um, VCR, there's 301, there's 201. Yeah. Don't know which one is that. That's just some revocable truth. I think this is it. Oh, no, 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 that's that one. I don't know what that is. Oops. Where did it go? Oh, lost. 
back open again. All right. So this is not one. There it goes. Yep. So try. All right. Let me share my screen with you guys. All right. This is from day one of the. Uh, Trust 101 class. This is from April 10th, as you can see. What are the legal entities that hold assets with the beneficiary to eventually inherit? Uh, it's the name, in the, it's as the name suggests, um, you can amend or revoke the terms of a revocable living trust at any time. So as we're looking in the situation, we can have one, only one revocable living trust. We can have as many express trusts as we want, and we can have as many real revocable trusts. That's pretty much how the class rolls. You guys, you see over here on the left-hand side of the screen, I believe, uh, the PowerPoint presentation and puts together. She'll read the PowerPoint, and sometimes she will expand upon the PowerPoint like she just did. Uh, sometimes she'll just follow it word for word and move to the next panel. That's how all the classes are set up with PowerPoint presentations. She'll go through multiple panels and then make a pause, ask anybody if they have any questions. Uh, we'll go through the questions or she may go through just one panel and ask a question depending on the class um, and what panel they are discussing at that time. I'll stop share and I'll get over here to day two. There's part two. Thank you, Scott. Nope. That's the first class. Let's go. All right, this is, uh, as you see, day two for the Trust 101 class. It's actually 411, but 410 for all intents and purposes. Okay, so what you need to do now is you need to retitle that, and you need to move it and put the title of the property now under the warranty deed into the name of the trust. So this would take a little bit of work to take your warranty deed rewrite your warranty deed, put the warranty deed into your trust name. We go over all of that in Trust 201. So I'm just giving you an example of what's gonna happen as we get in and we start working more and more into our trust. So everything we do changes into our trust name. And there you go. Now, Trust 101 is a fundamental class specifically for people who really don't know that much about trust or they've had a, they bought a trust and they don't know how to utilize it. And it's just sitting there gathering dust in a folder or binder or whatever. Um, this is for you. This is something that will give you the meat and potatoes that you can put together your own trust, write it yourself. So you comprehend exactly what you're doing, the structure, the reasons why each instrument must be created, uh, why it's created, who are all the parties in that instrument and what enforcement that instrument has, as well as helping you get your EIN and then getting your uh, non-interest bearing bank account. Now, when you take these classes, you're going to be enrolled in these different telegram groups to coincide with your class. The videos that we've just watched, they're uploaded, like the VCR classes are uploaded in the VCR telegram group. The Trust Class 101 are uploaded in the Trust Class 101 group, 201 in the 201 group, 301 in the 301 group, and 401 in the 401 group. And we'll get into those in just a minute. So you always have access to materials, always have access to the videos, and you now have access to all the previous class videos. So if there's something you didn't quite understand in the class that you took, 
you can go back to previous classes and go roughly to that same uh, point in the video or day of the video and you know see if that was addressed maybe by a question by a student uh, you never know so every class is different we um, have been having very good success with the classes so i just want to break down what these look like and how they're presented to you the substance that's offered um, in the packages for you to move forward with your trust and how it is a step-by-step -step process okay so I've showed you the VCR class right here, and then I've showed you trust class 101, very fundamental class. So you already have a trust, or doesn't matter what kind of trust it is, and it's operational and you don't have any problems operating. Trust 101 is most likely not the class for you because it's very basic, very fundamental. Um, you know, we're trying to kind of like we're teaching kindergartners, you know, and I'm not trying to demean anyone when I say that. But we break it down, you know, to the people who just, you know, all they know is trust. They don't know anything else. They don't know if there's an irrevocable, a revocable, um, ecclesiastical trust, dynastic trust. I mean, you know, I can go on and on and on. Uh, and, you know, sometimes when they hear that, they're hearing Greek. I, I don't know what any of that is. So you start laying down, you know, just a simple revocable trust. They get, you know, oh, God, I don't know what that is. So. That's what we're trying to do is get you over that, that fear hurdle that you're not comprehending what you're doing. That's why we break it down where you have to write your own trust. And that way you comprehend every word that you put on that paper, the way you phrased it, why you phrased it that way, the way you punctuate, the way you used the gram proper grammar, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so it's your trust. In that class, even though it is a, a fundamental class, the trust you create for that class, it, a year from now, it's going to be completely different because you're going to gain more knowledge, more research. You're going to meet new people who have more to offer than we can present in these classes, and you're going to expand your horizons. Absolutely. Hopefully, you'll eventually come back full circle to the Fearless Floyd Show and some other iteration that I have and uh, you know, share your new knowledge and your new wealth. We, I love to hear that. I love success stories, you know, and, you know, and people try to imitate what I do. And, you know, I just look at it. Hey, man, imitation is a serious form of flattery. That means I'm doing something successful. That somebody likes, they liked it so much they want to emulate. It. So I'm not messed up about that at all. So for all you out there who, you know, trying to copy for this boy, thank you. I appreciate you. It does not go unnoticed here. <laughs> so, all right, so I've covered VCR, I've covered 101. Now, the next step after you, you know, created your trust, got your EIN, got your bank account, is, okay, now, how do I move my assets into trust where I don't own anything, the trust owns everything, but I control it, and I'm the beneficiary, okay? Not necessarily the title of the beneficiary, you get the benefit, the use of the trust property, ever, Okay. So that's Trust 201. So let's dive over there and go look at that video so you guys can get a get a little taste of what 201 is all about. All right. As you see, this is Trust 201 class from 418, which was uh, Tuesday. BCR was on the 17th. In Tuesday, we had the 201. This is, you know, roughly a two-hour class. You can see an hour, 47 minutes. And you can see this panel. She's, you know, in order to transfer funds or assets to our trust, we must create a deed that will transfer these assets to the trust. We can then transfer the assets over to the trustee to enforce holding collect on the deeds. So let me play this a little bit. Stamp collection. And we would use that sort of a gift deed to gift that into our trust. Uh, now, if we had uh, anything that had a registration on it, we would use a different kind of a deed. Sometimes we have to use sales deeds or other things like this to move our assets into our trust. So we use the gift deeds for all kinds of assets, just like I was explaining to you. So in order to transfer funds, our assets to our trust, we must create the deed that will transfer these assets to the trust. 
I have a lot of examples I've written for you guys that you'll be able to use to transfer your assets to the trust. So we then can transfer the assets over to the trustee to enforce, hold, and collect on the deed. There are many, what in the world? Like I told you today, it's not, today is like a weird big day. I mean, I like move the page and it says I want to do today. So this is strange. <laughs> I'm, this. Um, I'm a computer technician. I do this for, I've done this since 1976. So this is kind of a weird day for me. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, guys. All right. So the trustee is bound by the item of issue that we create in our deeds uh, of transfer. It is up to us to declare, convey, and write the deeds uh, for our trust that allows the trustee to accept this property. Okay, that's how detail Ann gets into these classes. So, you know, you're going to have to rewatch these videos once you take the class because you're not going to digest all of it at once unless you have a lot of experience in dealing with trusts. That's all I can tell you. So that was Trust 201. 201 is basically just, I think, deeds. It's all about deeds, deeds of transfer, deeds of warranty, uh, deeds of sale, deeds of transfer, deed of conveyance. It just goes on and on and on. There's a gazillion of them. Just look up deeds in uh, Black's Law and you'll get it. Okay. And we're going to move on to 301. Let me pop that glass up for you guys. All you basic. All right. Originally, 301 was going to be on uh, irrevocable trusts, and 401 was going to be on private banking. Anne took a survey of the Trust 101 class and 201, and they wanted you know all about foreclosures and mortgages. So 301 became foreclosures and mortgages. 401 became irrevocable trust and yet to be established is five, which is on private banking. And that's what I was really looking forward to. And uh, it has not come to fruition. So 301, Mortgages and foreclosure. 401. Irrevocable trusts. Okay. Just want to make sure you knew what we were talking about. So, all right. 301. Let me get over here. Let me share my screen with you guys. For the mayor's database. You can look that up at any time you want. So anytime your mortgage is assigned or transferred or anything is done to it, it has to be done through mayor. But they're illegally assigning this because mayor is not writing the contract. You have somebody else writing these contracts. So this is all part of what you guys are going to end up looking into when it comes to your loan. Now, if you want to see what's going on with the loan, uh, I've done this for quite a few people. Um, I just tell them, find out um, through your county recorder's office how to get into your county recorder's office to find out everything in the land deed office that's assigned to your parcel of land. Everything that has to do with any types of loans, assignments, or whatever in a parcel of land is going to be recorded at the county recorder's office. And there you go. That's Anne breaking it all down for you. Step by step by step in this class, this two-hour class on mortgages and foreclosures and exposing the fraud. So if you have a mortgage, and, and you know, and this actually can be utilized across the board, i.e., any type of loan, just like you know, I use Sean Athlete, but I need to call Sean and put that on the list. I know he's two hours behind me, so I'll get with him. Um, to expose this fraud. So, you know, car loans, credit card loans, all that. It's all in there. Uh, it, it, this is a time-consuming endeavor. So, you know, if you don't have a lot of time to invest in pursuing 
the fraud in your mortgage, um, probably not the class for you. Um, it is, um, you know, you're just going to have to read. You're going to have to spend some time, learn, and utilize your knowledge in a responsible manner and go get your property back. That's it. So that's what 301 class is. Now, again, we said four was about irrevocable trust. Now, <clears throat> I have to tell you guys that uh, I wasn't quite prepared for the 401 class. Yeah, there is. Simply because of the depth of the materials that Anne compiled and presented and didn't even present all of them. Um, let me. I forgot to do all of this. So. Here, my screen real quick. This is a Trust 101 Telegram group. You see, there's 156 members in there. Okay, we have an administrator, Alan Glenn. Whenever you get in this class, anytime you need anything, Glenn is the administrator, runs pretty much this entire group. He will assist you. He'll open up the chat, go over your instruments with you, uh, walk you through getting your EIN, uh, even doing your bank account. He is a godsend to that group. He loves helping people, getting involved. So uh, if you're going to take this class, don't think you're just going to be, you know, left out to hang high and dry without somebody giving you some mentorship because they're in these groups. So that's the 101. And let me pop up the 201 just so you guys can, you know, get a feel for what it looks like. All right, there's the 201. We have 68 members in there. Half of what we have in the 101 class. And then it's the year, as you see, it's going to decline. Because when most people take the 101 class, about, you know, 25% they're going to take the class. That's the end. Of it. That's, they're not going to do anything else. Another 25%, they're going to start on their trust and they're not going to finish it. Then there's the, uh, the other 25%. They're actually going to complete their trust, but they're not going to do anything with it. And then there's that other 25% who are going to do everything and continue to take the classes. So that's what you're seeing in this drop off. Boom, 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 boom. These quarters that are dropping off. And it's just a statistic. And that's how it is with everything. Um, you know, life gets in the way. and People, you know, get distracted and don't follow through with their goals and intentions. I'm guilty of it. You know, I'm not going to say, not pointing fingers by any means. Okay, um, that's 201, and then 301, let's go here. And there's 301, and you see 33 members, just like I told you, you see it dropping off 50% every time. And then I'll do the 401, and there's probably 15 members in there, if that. So let me uh, let me go find that. You know, if I have an icon, I think I do. And I'm sure it's buried because nobody's doing anything in it because it's so much information. I mean, it was just, oof. There it is. I have not done it. Oh, wow. Actually, more members than I thought. I told you I don't don't pay attention. It's trust for one class, as you see, I have not made an icon for it yet. There's 23 members in there, and this is on irrevocable trust. <clears throat> and there's just a ton. Oh my God, there's so much information.
So that's what the 401 class it looks like. So let me get over here into the videos. I believe I had the uh, 401 queued up. Which is work. And there is a huge, huge clause in work to do that say you're just a renter. Yep, I bet nobody realized that one before. Yeah, they get you coming and going on mortgages. <laughs> They're pretty well frauded up. So how do we modify or amend one of these types of trusts? Uh, can an own bookable trust be modified or amended? The answer is no, unless the beneficiary or the court allow it. Irrevocable trust cannot be modified, amended, or terminated without the permission of the grantor's beneficiaries or by the order of a court. So if you want to do anything with the trust, you will have to go to court or you have to get written permission from the beneficiary uh, to do something to the trust. Okay, the exact rules can vary from state to state. The grantor having uh, efficiently transferred all ownership of assets into the trust legally removes all of their right to ownership to the assets of the trust. Mm -hmm. So this is a quite a bit different than a revocable trust. You hold on to your assets and you can control your assets. Not in an irrevocable trust. In an irrevocable trust, you literally have trustees because you can't be one. Some states and some people say you can, but honestly, you cannot. You actually need two trustees outside of your family that are not associated with any person in your family. And there you go. That's how she's breaking it down. There's just so much, almost every sentence is just jam packed with information. So I really want to thank Ann for taking the time to do these classes and be able to educate you guys on all this information and allowing me to have this platform to be able to post these videos and her materials to uh, have everybody move forward in a um, knowledgeable, rational way. So uh, that's what that looks like. Now, um, now that you've come, you've heard the videos, you've seen that there's Telegram groups, there are you know, people in there, uh, they do function <laughs> and uh, they will help you. <clears throat> so how do you enroll? Good question, right? And right here, you just... My website. My website is the fearless Floyd show dot com. And then you forward slash classroom. And it's gonna pull you up to this link. But just for simplicity's sake, I am going to go to the menu and go to the home page. All right, go to class enrollment. You can click on that link and it's gonna take you to the classroom. Okay. Back home. And I haven't set that up yet. And it's been a minute since I've been on the website to um, do any type of updates. But you can go down here to the bottom and enroll in these classes as well. Uh, I can already tell you that. That class is going to be moved to the 15th. So if you sign up for that class, I don't know why it says May 10th. To get that fixed. Like, I'm told. Mm -hmm. So I'll get that fixed and moved. But yeah, there you go. So basically, it's real simple. Just go to the classroom page. And here's Trust 101. There's the May 8th. Trust 201. There's the 16th, which is Tuesday. Click on those links. 
Here's the 301, which is the 22nd. And here's the 401, which is the 23rd. And then the VCR class, which says May 2nd, but there will be a May 15th. And then see, here's Trust 501, which will be on the private banking. I can tell you. So I just have that as a place setter. And there you go. So all you have to do is just get here, click on a link, click on the date. It's going to pop up the time, click on the time, hit next. It's going to ask you for some information. All this information is, is for me, for my record, so I can keep track of who you are with your real name, your email, what you, you know like to know, your telegram handle, and your phone number, where text messages can be sent to you for updates, whether or not this class is going to get rescheduled or it's still scheduled, or it's going to be canceled. Okay. That's what this information is for. So please put your information in here properly so I can keep track of who you are. Uh, Cause last thing you want to do is uh, have two different conversations with me uh, on two different platforms and me not know who you are. Cause that really irritates me. Uh, and it happens a lot too, too often. So that's why I try to prevent it. Uh, explaining this to you guys even though it says pay with paypal it, it doesn't paypal is just a processor you can pay with mastercard visa american express any major credit card anyway you just felt this information and uh you know hit schedule event it's not gonna let me do it let me put the information in there so it automatically recognizes me Wants me to log into my PayPal account. But, okay, you can pay right here, pay with a debit or credit card. You don't have to pay with PayPal. There you go. MasterCard, American Express, Visa, and Discover. And you just put your information in here. That's if you want to create the PayPal account, which you probably don't. So don't check that box and just hit continue. And there you go. And that's how you enroll for classes. Um, you will get a Zoom link to the class. Generally, I send those out anywhere from two hours up to 30 minutes prior to class. Mm -hmm. uh, I try to keep every class that's scheduled. The problem is, is we just had a lot of events here in Houston. We had the uh, NCAA Final Four. Of course, we had the rodeo. Uh, and then we just had OTC as well as Taylor Swift for three nights. Uh, and then, of course, the NFL draft party, which I was at last night uh, and Monday. So there's a lot going on. OTC is still happening. Uh, so that's where I will be at the end of next week, a week from, oh yeah, in a week. That's where I'll be all there. So hopefully uh, I can get some new stuff done this week, early this week, and we'll see what happens. Uh, I believe I have the 401, 301 and 401 coming up this month. Oh no, I postponed those. I don't have anything coming up. not so the next scheduled class is uh, the may the i don't have a calendar here print out a calendar all right may 8th which is a Monday, May 9th, which is a Tuesday. That'll be Trust 101 class, two parts. Starts at 7 p.m. till 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. Generally start class about 7.10. Give everybody a chance, you know, all the the uh, people who uh, aren't quite sure about the time zone to get on or people who are arriving late. So that's our little 10-minute buffer window. If uh, all the enrollees show up prior to that 10 minutes we usually start at 705 so that's where we're at with that so monday tuesday the 8th and the 9th of may that's the one-on-one -on -one class 
the following Tuesday, the 15th, I mean, sorry, following Monday, the 15th will be the VCR class. The next night on Tuesday, the 16th will be the Trust 201 class. And then the following Monday and Tuesday, which is the 22nd and 23rd will be Trust 301 and 401 respectively. Uh, all classes begin at 7 p.m., end at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. So make sure that you're on the right time zone when you sign up for the classes, as well as log in to go to the class. Um, and that's about it. So the 8th, 9th, 15th, 16th, 22nd, and 23rd, and Memorial Weekend at the end of the month is free for everybody to go frolic in the environment. Uh, I believe I've covered everything. If you have any questions, you can reach me at the Fearless Floyd Show at yahoo.com. That's my email. As always, you can go to the website, fearlessfloydshow.com. You can sign up for a class, forward slash classroom. You can like, subscribe, share, leave a comment below. For those of you who have my phone number, you can always call me and text me, set up a private consultation, enroll in class. I do have a holiday package that I still uh, am kicking off for Easter. Um, pull it up, sorry. All right. There you go. The holiday special. Basically, what it amounts to is if you took signed up for all these classes, seven hundred ninety five bucks, It'd give you twenty percent off, six thirty six. Basically, if you just sign up for uh, the VCR one hundred one, two hundred one, three hundred one, you're going to get four hundred one for free. So basically, you're going to get one of the 149 packages or classes for free if you sign up for all of them at one time. You don't have to take them in order. You can sign up and take them in any order that you like. This is going to be good for uh, until the 30th of this month. Yep, the 30th. So uh, if you'd like to get in on that special, you have a couple days left. I'm trying to educate as many people as we can while we can, while we're available. So uh, I've given you a breakdown of exactly what the trust class looks like, what it entails. Um, ooh, let me see. Let's pull something up for you guys just to show you. Um, I want to show you what my trust looks like. This is Anne's trust that I did for myself. All right. Consultation coming up, 30 minutes. So, uh, Floyd Pleasant Tarvin, Vocal Trust, blah, 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 breaks it down. <clears throat> As you can see, I have a watermark in the background. Kind of see different types of font. Here and there and here, there. All that's for a reason. These are all anti-counterfeiting, anti-fraud measures that I utilize in all my instruments. So that's a little for you guys. All right. Uh, I just want to show you that it's available. Uh, sign up for the classes. Create your trust. Get your EIN. Get your non-interest bearing bank account. Put your assets in your trust. Then you can then you can start doing some following steps, i.e., surrendering your driver's license, 
putting your vehicle in your trust, registering your vehicle in your trust, getting your DOT, boom, 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 boom. You see how these steps start to play? Well, that's what you guys need to, to follow up on and fulfill for yourselves. Most of you are half-stepping. Uh, I'm going to get do another video here, and uh, I don't know how long it's going to take me. It is very lengthy, but it is a shocking video, so stay tuned for that. It's Friday. Thank you guys for being here. I'll see you in the next video. Have a safe and happy weekend, and I'll catch you on this side. Uh, peace in the Middle East. Go, go RVing, right?